What up, what a world, this is your homeboy Wordplay TJ and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm gonna talk about how to release an album and this is part two where I talk about your budget. So stay tuned. So in the last video, I started a series on how to release an album and I talked about things like production and making sure that you have everything in the row to get started on the, the mixes and the songs and the lyrics and all of that stuff. But there's a very important part that I left out and that's the budget. So it's going to be really hard to start an album if you don't know how much that album is going to cost. And that's something that you want to consider before you really get started into all of the, the cost that, that it takes to make an album. And that's something that you really want to think about before you get into what it takes to make an album, say like the pre-production and all of those other things. So in all honesty, this should have been the first video, but it's still a good time to think about your budget. And so I'm going to go ahead and take you to the computer. We're going to look at a sample budget. Not everything in the budget is going to be 100% there, but we're going to look at the bare bones the things that it's gonna take bare minimum to get started on creating an album and then putting that album out. So let's go ahead and go to my computer and take a look. All right, so here we are at my computer and we're looking at a sample album budget. And with this album budget, um, I wanna look at a lot of different things. And so I'm gonna go piece by piece and most of this budget is going to be uh, hypothetical. And with that hypothetical situation, you can't always be in a, a place where this is going to be 100% accurate. Um, so your circumstance is going to be a little bit different. And so what I would do is take these numbers with a grain of salt. A lot of things you can keep, a lot of things you can um, take away. And with those things, be sure to keep your thoughts and your goals in mind when you look at this budget. So what I'll do is I will create a document where you can have this sample budget and you can use the sample budget to try to plan out your own album. The link for that document will be down in the description. All right, so here we go, our album budget. The first thing I wanna look at are my living expenses. During the, the the recording of this album, how long is it going to take me to figure out everything that I want in this album and how much is it going to cost me just for basic living expenses? Um, this is not necessarily the case if you are a musician with a job, but sometimes musicians want to take off and want to get that experience of recording an album without having to think about where they're going to work every day. Your, your job is sort of making this album, right? Instead of going to a regular nine to five. So you want to think about your living expenses first. So granted, some people live in a big city. So what I did is calculated for maybe like $2,000 a month as far as living expenses are concerned. And that's extremely uh, conservative. So that may mean that you don't necessarily have kids or a family or anything like that. And you're just by yourself and taking care of yourself and maybe a pet or something like that. So in this situation, it's super cheap and super conservative, but uh, $2,000 a month is a ballpark. And that's what I think it would take for, for you to really have a, a, an average living. So what I did over here is I quantified for about nine months of those living expenses and that totals out to $18,000. The next thing I did was think about business expenses. And so the business expenses go into what it costs to actually run your music business. Now, I don't know what it costs for everybody out there to run their music business and your music business may be just your life in general. So this may be a zero, but for me, my business costs me about $500 a month, right? That's uh, software, that's equipment, that is hiring employees. And so um, I, I definitely have to spend a lot in order to keep things going. 
going. And so that's gonna be for the same duration as my living expenses for those nine months. How much is it gonna cost me to live and also to uh, run the business? If you don't have a full-time job or some way to fund this album like Kickstarter or something like that, then definitely think about how this album is gonna be paid for. The next thing we have are pre-production costs. So with pre-production costs, I did this by the hour. So assume that you're gonna to go to a studio or something like that. You have about 10 tracks that I'm looking at. And so I budgeted it out for three hours per track. In the hip hop world, that's a lot of buying beats. And so sometimes that's $100, sometimes that's $200. Um, sometimes you do the production yourself, right? And then in that point, you're thinking about how much does it cost me to actually live, right? So I can sort of pseudo pay myself for this work. And that's going to be the, the number that goes into your budget. So for pre-production costs here, I have about 30 hours uh, budgeted and that turns out to $1,500 because I said it would be about uh, 50 bucks an hour for studio sessions or something like that. In the hip hop world, it's a little bit different. You're just buying beats. And so that's um, that cost is pretty relative. And so you could do a lot with $1,500 in hip hop. Recording and mixing. Now, um, I record and I mix all at home, all here at my home studio. And so that doesn't cost me anything but like electricity and making sure that, you know, the the bills are paid and making sure that the rent is paid. And that goes into my living expenses. And so uh, recording and mix it, mixing is not an extra expense for me. The only time that's an extra expense is when I'm buying new things in order to record and mix. For those of you that don't have the skill or the luxury of recording and mixing, I budgeted out about 30 hours, the same 30 hours that it would cost for pre-production, about three hours per song in order to record um, for, for rock musicians or anybody in a band that might be a, a lot longer per song. So when we're looking at recording and mixing, you can budget out those hours according to your, uh, your genre and who you are. So for me in my hypothetical budget, that's about $1,500. And then mastering about uh, 10 songs I said about $100 a song, that's super cheap for mastering. Um, so you're looking at about $1,000. Next thing I did was look at distribution. And this is mainly digital distribution, not physical distribution or anything like that. We live in a digital world. And so I think it's very important to just honestly focus on the digital, not so much the physical. Now you can do vinyl, you can do all these other things, but um, I have a different plan in mind and that's what I'm gonna share with you in this particular album budget. So when we're looking at digital distribution, you wanna do a dirty version of the album and a clean version of the album. Luckily for people that only do clean music, then you're in a situation where you can just release one album and it will save you. So basically half the cost. So for this cost structure here, I'm looking at maybe like a CD Baby Pro account and CD Baby Pro charges about 90 bucks per album. If you add on the $5 for the UPC, then that's about $100 per album. All right, so let's get into the thing that people really miss when they're developing an album and getting ready to put out an album, and that's the marketing piece. Now, my marketing section is super, super basic, but um, at the end of the day, if I was really going to to flesh this out and make this like a full on, like I gotta cover all my my T's and I's, then this section would be so much more longer than every other section because I believe that marketing is the key to success when it comes to putting out a product um, outside of that product being good in the first place. So um, when it comes to marketing, I budgeted for music videos, Facebook advertising, uh, video distribution, artwork, and PR. So we have all of those sections in marketing. And so I wanna look at music videos first. So I'm planning out for two music videos at $2,000 a pop. So therefore we're gonna look at $4,000 worth of music videos. And then Facebook advertising, I wanna do for 
um, six months after the album is released. And usually I budget out about $300 a month for Facebook advertising. And that's because I run for two different audiences. I run to fans that already exist into my system. And then I run ads to people that don't know me at all. Running ads like that on Facebook, and that includes Instagram ads, uh, will cost you about $5 a day. $5 a day for um, 30 days is $150. If you're running two ad sets, then you're gonna have to double that. And therefore, that's where I get the $300 from. If you run that for six months, that's $1,800. And that's where that budget comes from. Now, in a new digital age, I think you can get away with Facebook advertising and you can kind of skip the PR situation and just focus 100% on that. If you're a bigger artist and you believe that you're going to get the press you deserve or you believe that you can do a press run and get radio and all these other things, then yes, focus on PR. But if you're relatively unknown, then I would focus on Facebook advertising versus PR. I think that's a much better uh, use of your money. I have a line on here for video distribution. Um, that's up to you. That's relative. And so I don't really have any cost for that. I'm not going to distribute videos outside of just YouTube and anything else. Um, Vivo, um, I, I believe that people, a lot of people want to put their music out on Vivo. From my point of view, I don't think that's very advantageous to a lot of artists because Vivo sometimes takes a cut of what you make. And so you shouldn't shouldn't put your eggs into a basket where you don't know where it, where your return is coming from. So next thing we're looking at is artwork. And that's usually like the packaging for anything that you're doing around the album. And I said budget out $1,200. That could be a lot. That could be a little depending on who you're working with. And again, we're looking at PR. And so um, when it comes to a PR budget, normally uh, for a month of PR, it's like, you know, 1500 bucks. Some people will charge less, some people will charge more, but um, I'm not gonna really put that in for this particular budget because we're already up there and, and it's gonna get higher right now. Okay, so here's what I've been looking at um, as far as the, the post, how am I gonna make money off of this album sort of deal. And with that understanding, I'm looking at merchandise. Now in this album budget, there's nothing about touring just yet. And so you can add in a touring section, but oftentimes I think of touring as a separate thing from just the album itself. Not that it doesn't have anything to do with the album, but that it has its own separate cost and you should figure out those costs in a separate spreadsheet. But for now, we're not gonna talk about touring, we're gonna talk about merchandise, and that's what I wanna focus on. So my idea around my next album is that I'm going to package up a custom box for every one of my supporters for at least, I, I wanna say 100 supporters. And I'm gonna sell this box with a bunch of merchandise, with t-shirts, hoodies, pins, posters, and all types of other promotional objects. And, and so this is kind of the bare minimum of what I wanna include in the box, and including things like cards, you know, thank you cards and that type of thing. Um, maybe some, some memorabilia. Like I really wanna make this box special for my fans. And so I'm gonna make a hundred of them. And this is, these are some of the things that are, I'm gonna include in the, into that box. So number one is t-shirts. And I'm saying about 200 t-shirts because there's gonna be two per box. And with the, the t-shirt um, manufacturing company that I work with is around about $6 a shirt. And so we're looking at $1,200 for t-shirts hoodies um, we're looking at about about a hundred dollars because they're about ten dollars a pop uh, pins um, I wanted to say 300 because they are roughly mm, I'm not sure what this this cost is but um, <laughs> this cost structure but pins are pretty cheap and so I think sixty dollars for 300 is is pretty relative posters are are cheap as well right i can get get those printed at office depot or fedex um 
and then packaging would be the boxes themselves. And so um, I priced those and those are about $3 a pop. And so that turns out to about $300. And then obviously promotional copies to people that I know, like DJs or people that are that do press and I know them personally, right? Or fans in general that I wanna give promotional copies to. So those promotional copies will be about 300 bucks. And then I'm looking at shipping costs, which is about $10. Now, um, in the cost of this merchandise, I'm gonna be selling it. And so I'm normally gonna sell it for an amount that would, that would get me back a return. All of these costs together, it's gonna be about uh, $3,500 for, for all 100 boxes, right? And if I'm charging $3,500 to 300 people, that's gonna look about uh, $350, or $35 rather per box. And if I wanna make a profit on this box, then um, I might charge about 50 to $60 on that box. And therefore that's gonna turn out to, to, to be like a 15 to $20 profit. And so, um, for this particular box, I want to be able to, to recoup and charge a little bit of the shipping too. And so, um, if it's $35 a box, I'm going to add shipping on top of there. And then I'm going to add my profit. Let's say a $20 profit, right? Then we're looking at $75 per box. And that would put me at uh, $7,500, right? When, uh, when I sell all of these boxes with $7,500, you're going to easily, easily go ahead and double what you, what you spent. And so with that in mind, you got to really create a strategy around this merchandise to make sure that you promote it in a strong way make sure that people actually know what's in it, make sure people actually want what's in it. Uh, therefore, you're not just spending all of this money and then you have a stack of boxes in your apartment or in your house that you can't get rid of. So really think hard before you make an investment like this on merchandise and um, make sure that you can recoup. So I saved the best part for last and that's looking at the total. Um, so here's the total for the entire um, shebang. That's $36,000 for living expenses, for the cost of production, for putting this together, for marketing it, and for creating merchandise. $36,000 is a lot of money. Like that's <laughs> that's it's just a lot at the end of the day. So um, I don't expect anybody that watches this this uh, channel to spend that much money on their album. But at the end of the day, like you can cut some things, you can figure some things out and get this album out for if you wanted to less than a thousand dollars. But what I wanted to do is give you a perspective on what an album might cost just so you can think about everything before you do it. So that's it. I hope you check the next video out in this series. Please subscribe so you can get a notification about it. Hit that bell so that notification comes up actually. Um, and then like this video if you liked it. Until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Put a comment down in the comment section, by the way. Peace. All right, so the video is over now, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you feel about it, and then watch more videos about the same subject up here, and then another video that YouTube recommends down here. Peace.